Hello everybody, uh, this is Chris. I'm one of the developers of SmartNote and I'm going to demo some of the features of SmartNote version 1.3 which is currently in review by Apple. It may actually be out by the time you get this video. Okay, uh, so right here on the home screen you're going to notice a big difference. Uh, we now have an image in the background. Um, this image, I can come down here into settings and go to set home screen wallpaper and we have a a variety of choices, in, including, of course, the original that, you know, from the original application. Um, I'm actually going to come down here and I'm going to set it to some starfish because this is one of my favorites. Um, it just throws that image in the background. All right. Uh, one of the other new features that we've had requested quite a bit is the ability to display your notebooks in some sort of a list. Um, that way, if you have to switch quickly, it makes it easier on you. Uh, so you'll see that we've implemented that here. Um, you can choose your notebooks and you can click on them and they'll open. Um, but, you know, of course, you can still use the preferred interface of flipping through your notebook covers and clicking on them to open them. All right. Uh, some of the other settings you'll see down here. Uh, number one is going to be export. So I'm going to click on export here and you'll see it lists my two notebooks I have. Um, what this will actually do is it'll create a archived package of your notebooks. Uh, this is to go with the new file structure that we've written for this application. Uh, basically, now, when you click this, it'll create a .note package in your application directory, which you can access via iTunes or SmartSync. Um, it just packages everything, your audio recordings, your PDFs, your inserted images, all that stuff into one file so that you can send it to someone or make backups. Uh, and to go with that, of course, there's import, and I'm going to go ahead and import this import test. Notebook has been imported, and it is now right over here. Okay, uh, this last thing you see over here is page previews. Now, this will actually display a small preview of each one of your pages. Um, I can click on any of these previews and it'll open me right up to that page. All right, I'm going to go over here because this is going to be a better test of this system. All right, so this is the iPhone user's guide which I've imported as a PDF. And you see it has all the pages across the bottom here. And I can scroll through and say I want to open that page up right there. I'll just click on it and it'll take me right into that page. Wow! Green! It's an excellent choice of a header color. Um, you can also access this interface from right here within the notebook uh, for page turning and whatnot. You know, just It helps you to find the page you're looking for. Um, so if I want to go to this page, I'll just click here and give it a moment to process and then just take me right to that page. Um, you know, of course, you can always use the regular page turns or the go to page functionality. Uh, this is just another way you can interact with the application. All right, uh, we're going to go back out to the home screen with my lovely starfish. Um, I, just because I want to show off, I'm going to uh, open it up via page preview. There we go. All right, so I have this page and then I have the page right after it with a lovely piece of artwork by me. So we're going to go back up here to page one. and I'm going to go down here into page tools through the widgets menu and I am going to insert a page after this one. Oh, okay. Now then, uh, I can pull down the preview and you can see that it actually hasn't been rendered yet. Uh, there's a page been inserted between page one and the page with the smiley face on it. Now then, I am going to do some handwriting on this page, so I'm going to change the paper type. Page tools, and I'm going to choose from the included paper types. You could also include, include it from your images. Uh, I'm going to change this to just some plain white notebook paper. All right. Uh, I'm going to write my name up here. I just realized my hand might be getting in the way, so I'm going to try and keep that out of the way so you can see what's going on here. 
So, um, that looks good, but there's no way with my finger that I'm going to be able to write in between those lines. So, we've added one of the other most requested features, which is the ability to zoom in. Um, now, I can write my name and it's it's fully in between the lines and when I'm using a stylus I can make really small detailed drawings uh, it's, it's fairly nice it's really responsive um, and oh a little stray mark there I think I'll just use the undo and as you can see this is now a full undo I can undo and redo and then all that uh, as long as I stay on the same page. Now, as soon as I change pages and then come back, um, I will no longer be able to use the undo redo functionality until I start drawing again. All right now, that's nice, but I would like to include a page from that iPhone user's guide PDF. So I'm going to go back into page tools and I'm going to go back down into insert pages and I'm going to insert a single page from the PDF. I could also insert the entire PDF if I wanted to. So I'm going to insert there and I'm going to tell it I want page 7. And I'm going to insert that page. Alright, so here we are with uh, page 7. I'm going to zoom in and maybe grab a highlighter and do some highlighting and whatnot. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page, which is that. And then I'm going to pull the previews up so you can see that we now have a piece of regular notebook paper and a inserted page from a PDF. All right. Uh, I'm going to go back to this page. Uh, I've decided I don't really need that anymore, so I'm going to delete it. Um, those functionality are still just as you remember. Um, I would kind of like to insert an image on this page. So I'm going to come down here to widgets and I'm going to tell it to insert a picture. Now there's three ways. I can either insert from the clipboard, insert from the application file directory, or insert from the photos app. I'm going to choose the photos app for now and go in my saved photos. Nobody look. I have no idea what's in here. Okay. Um, yes, we are going to insert this and I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to make it really small and put it over here on the iPhone. So there you have it. Smart note on the iPhone. So, uh, so what have we covered so far is the image insertion, the inserting pages, changing paper types, uh, the page previews, the undo redo, uh, one of the big things that you will notice is the file system has changed, which is why we have the import and export buttons on the home screen. Oh yeah, uh, inside of SmartSync, you will now be able to import and export notebooks from there as well. As well. Um, if I go into New from PDF or Image, that's actually not what I was wanting. I'm going to go into Download File Online and we're going to go let this page load so that uh, everybody can see our new icon very beautiful all right we are going to go to google it's kind of awkward for me typing at this weird angle it's probably awkward for y'all watching as well so i am going to type in guide dot pdf. Even though I already have this in my directory, I'd just like to show you that we've now added a progress indicator. 